How's everybody doing today? <laughs> you know, I think every year I've walked this walk of terror and fright. It doesn't get any easier, let me tell you. Um, so I've spent most of my time trying to think about what do you say in a minute to an opening and closing statement and then to answer questions. You guys already know what I want to do. You already know what every candidate wants to do, right? Now you need to know a little bit more about me and what you can expect from me as a person and how I'll fulfill the, the duties of this job. I was just playing apples to apples. You guys know that game? Yeah, I was just playing apples to apples. You know, it's so good of a game to um, tell people or to, to help people understand how other people think and what other people's perceptions are of words. My card that I had was dirty. <laughs> it's a good word. The, the responses I got for that were exorcism, high school prom, California, women, and French wines. <laughs> so my point to this is there's a lot of different interpretations. Okay, the first question, what skills and experience do you have that qualifies you for this position? Well, I'm sure you all know that I'm a very bubbly spirited person. I like to get out, I like to talk to people. I love it when people come up to me and hug me um, every time they see me at a conference and tell me how much they miss me. Um, I love the stalkers that I have in the association. <laughs> it's great. I wish more of them were people that I were attracted to, but um, <laughs> doesn't work out that way. What makes me qualified for this position? You guys, I'm passionate. Um, I've been around with this organization for a couple years now, and I've had some time to see what kind of works, the kinks, what, what works, what doesn't work for this association. And taking that, um, I can use those things to help guide any plan that anybody comes up with. You can have somebody that has great ideas, but if they don't understand the background of the association, how it really functions, how it really works, then the plan really isn't that effective. Um, you need somebody that knows all about the association, that kind of knows the ins and outs. And so that's the experience that I can offer you to help make this position the best that it can be. Thank you. As a cabinet member, you will work in a small office with the rest of the cabinet and staff. It is inevitable that disagreement and conflict will occur. Tell us about a time when you were involved in a conflict and how you helped resolve it. Okay, so all I should have to say, this shouldn't even take a minute, MCTC, um, <laughs> basketball, um, you know, there's all sorts of issues, conflict, okay. I think all of us have conflict. I think the degree to which we all um, express how we deal with that conflict is different. Um, I come from a very um, different background where I was always told to express my feelings and um, you know, deal with situations right away. And sometimes that's hard for people um, because I know here in Minnesota we, we like to, uh, we, we're very conflict avoiding and we, and we like to be a little bit more passive aggressive. Um, so I am still working as a person, I'm growing, I'm 29 years old, I have a lot more, a lot more years to live and I'm still learning how to work with people, all different types of people. We have a lot of different types of people in this association. So I think, I think that it's a, grow, it's a process and I'm working on it and um, conflict is fun because we grow from it. What is the most significant issue affecting students? Obviously, affordability is the most significant issue facing students. Access is one of the most significant issues facing students. Um, those two things together. Um, we talk about tuition, we talk about textbooks, we talk about all those things on a constant, consistently. Um, I think one of the next um, things that we need to talk about is disparity. And I talked about this in, my, in the packet. Um, we're advancing technologically, and obviously with public relations, you can use technology to really help your organization um, thrive and grow. The problem with that is that we end up leaving some people behind the more we go with technology. The people that can't afford internet access, the people that can't afford laptops, iPods, gadgets and gizmos. And so we need to be aware of that as we move forward. So on top of tuition, on top of those things, we also need to recognize that we're leaving people behind and we need to not forget those students as well. What is your vision for MSCSA's communications next year? 
Great question. I had a lot of you last night ask me, what are we going to do to get campuses involved? Um, I still, every year I've been here, myself included, I see candidates say, or hear candidates say, I'm going to get out to every campus. And I said that last year. I'm going to get out to every campus, and we're going we're gonna, to we're gonna put MSCSA on that campus. I was actually watching uh, the uh, Q&A from last year. And uh, Nate Hansen, bless his heart, um, he, he wanted to really do that again last year. And it's just not feasible. There's so much work to do, you guys. But I think we can start with small steps. I think how many students went into their campus the first day and at orientation um, you were told, along with financial aid, business services, counseling, and advising, that there was a statewide student association that worked for you? I, I didn't hear about anything until a year later. All I knew was that it was a 31 cent per credit fee on my statement. So something as simple as putting language in a college catalog or telling students at an at a or do <laughs> dead. I got five seconds. So that's something simple we can do that's effective. You have a one minute closing statement. Thank you. <laughs> Um, what I was going to say with these cards, everybody has a different interpretation of what something is. And the more diverse your group, obviously, the more different those interpretations can be. Um, I just sat at this table with six other people playing this game. We all had different ideas of how to play the game. We all had different ideas about what the definition of something was. And yet we were all able to play and laugh and joke. Um, the true test is, can we step away from the issue at hand, personally? And sometimes that's difficult because we feel so connected to that issue. We feel so passionate because of some life experience. And so we have to do our best on both sides. Um, the side that sees the person reacting needs to understand maybe there's something in that person's life that is causing them to react away. And then the person who is reacting maybe needs to step away and say, okay, people may not understand my reaction because they don't understand that I've had this experience. So I think it'll take a lot of working together to make sure that we all can agree on these definitions. Thanks.